Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be looking at the module Pick Up Sticks. Pick Up Sticks allows for items to be brought onto the scene directly, which then can be interacted with by the players. Likewise, your players can take items from their inventory and drop them down onto the scene. Okay, we're going to take a look at a few examples, but first let's take a look at how we can bring an item on and choose whether we want it to be displayed as an item or as a container. So the first thing I'm going to bring in onto the scene is a potion of healing. So I'm going to click the item and drag it on over. And as soon as I drag it onto the scene, I can choose whether I want it as an item or as a container. I'm going to choose container for the time being. Okay, I can see that I have a new container as well as on the right hand side, right hand side, I have underneath pick up sticks, empty container underneath tokens. So I can interact with this and I can see there are potions of healing one in this container right now. And I can edit this very easily and make it 10 or 20 or 30. I can also add in currency as well. And if I want to, I can put in new items directly like so. And we can see it is added into the container very easily. And then my players can interact with this. They can loot it and take everything or any particular items they want. I can also, as the GM, change the size and the width, or the width and the height, I mean, the sounds that are used, as well as the name and add a description as well. So there are a number of things that you can do just with this alone. So here we see what it looks like when the player is interacting with the container. So we have Merrick the Barbarian on the left hand side, and Merrick can take a potion of healing, can take a long sword, or can take everything. Now, the player can't interact with the container from pick up sticks unless they are right next to it. So if they aren't next to it, you'll, they should get an error that says you aren't, you aren't five feet away from the container. So Merrick is going to take a potion of healing. We see a small, a short loading screen, and then it goes down from seven to six. Pretty simple. In the same way you can create containers, you can also create loot items as well, which you can, you know, scatter around your battlefield and have, you know, various things that you can pop up at different times. You just need to click item. Now by default it will fill the entire square of the grid but if you want to change that you can go into the item itself and change here on the left hand side width and height. Maybe this might be useful if you want to like hide a key in a scene or something like that. So we can see now it's very small and then with you know with foundry I can click and drag and holding shift I can make it so it doesn't line with the scene. So I can put it, you know, anywhere I want, you know, hide it in a certain spot on the map where I'm trying to have my players, you know, maybe find it. Cool. And as a final note, where you, the GM, can bring things onto the scene, items, your player can as well from their inventory. So I can click this and drag it onto the scene, and we can see it is right there. And then if I want to pick it up, I can just click it when I'm standing next to it. I can see I pick up my javelins. I do think sometimes it might make more than one, so your players might have to figure out how to resolve that on their own. This might be useful if your players are looking to trade, maybe passing up one item for another, and they can do it all on their own without any interference or help from the GM. So that's pretty much everything to this module. Pretty straightforward. I find this a nice alternative to using the loot sheet module, especially because it just is maybe a little easier to create the chests. However, I still prefer that one for my doors to create locked doors as well as for my merchants. So I still feel as though I can use both of them in my games. Alright, well if you have any questions or comments please put it down below. Let me know. Thanks everyone!